Unlike your desktop, you don't have to install any extension into your browser to use the Grammarly on your mobile. You can just have the Grammarly keyboard app and you can use the Grammarly in the similar fashion as you would use in your laptop or desktop. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Grammarly in your mobile phone. To install the Grammarly keyboard app, just go on to the first link which is given in the description below and click on that. So it will take you to this uh, link uh, from where you can click on to the Google Play Store and it will open within the Play Store from where you can just click on and install the Grammarly. Once the Grammarly app is installed, click open. You will see this get started screen. Click on that. So you have to create a free account. Uh, you can do it with your Facebook uh, Google account or you can just add your uh, email. I'll just continue with the Google account. In the next screen, you would see add a Grammarly keyboard. Click on that. And from here, you would see the already installed uh, keyboards. And alongside that, the important thing is the second last one, um, which is the Grammarly. You just have to uh, press this toggle switch to add your Grammarly keyboard. So you will uh, get this uh, notice that you click OK. And then using you might also get this message like OK. And then from here, uh, you will be shown that switch input method. Click on that. And from here, you would see the default uh, or the already keyboard that you are using would be selected in my case it is uh, gboard so from here i will just select grammarly in the next screen you can select the uh, dark or a light theme so i'll go for the dark theme and then you can also add the number rows and whether you want to see the borders um, around each key i'll just switch it off and then continue with the dark theme and now you are done just click done you can customize the grammarly keyboard from here and there are also grammarly settings which you can subsequently go and uh, see it for yourself you can change the language preference uh, from here i'll keep it uh, as a british english and just i'll go back so now i've just opened a blank uh, google docs document and i'm just going to type so as you can see that i have written first sentence and it has detected one mistake as uh, i have written i have been typing these lines with Grammarly so it says that it is supposed to be lines and not lines so I'm just going to just click over here and it is going to complete that sentence so here uh, again that um, it is suggesting me that you should capitalize the word Grammarly so I don't need to go uh, and click onto the word and do the conventional way of doing the amendments and just click on this and it will automatically convert that into a capital uh, word so as you're typing uh, it is also giving you the suggestions that what word uh, you should write so as again here you can see that it has underlined the word is a simple because it is saying that i have missed an article a so uh, it is suggesting me to add that so i again i can just click on this a and it will amend the sentence so you i think you have got the idea that how are you going to use it so it now it doesn't matter that whether you are writing it in a notepad in a google docs or whether you are uh, uh, writing an email or updating your social media account uh, whatever you are writing and if you're writing it with the uh, grammarly keyboard it is going to correct your uh, grammar spelling and punctuation related mistakes and it would also give you the suggestions in terms of the synonyms like um, right now my cursor is that simple so it is giving me the suggestions in terms of the synonyms for simple that reasonable easy and modest and natural so i can just click on to the reasonable and it is going to convert and now it is giving me the suggestions for the uh, reasonable uh, meaning by that the synonyms of reasonable so i can click on to the adequate and is, it is going to convert that so in case you want to go back to your uh, uh, other keyboard you can just click on to this uh, keyboard icon which is on to the bottom right hand side and from here uh, you will again have this uh, input method uh, screen and you can go back to your other keyboard like now i am back to my uh, google keyboard and if i want to switch it back i can again go back and click onto the grammarly and in case you don't see this option what you can do is that you can go on to the click on this icon and from here you can click switch input method and from there you can again go back to uh, and uh, select your grammarly keyboard 
this Grammarly keyboard is free to install uh, but in case you buy the uh, paid version of it you will get uh, other suggestions uh, including the pla plagiarism checker also so in case you are a student teacher or a blogger freelance writer or anybody who writes for living I would highly recommend that you buy the premium version of the Grammarly and uh, while it costs $12 a month um, or $144 a year but there is a way of uh, getting that um, for free there is a trick it is uh, completely legal I have explained that in this video which is displayed in the end screen card right now you can go and check out that video um, in any case don't forget to like this video thanks for watching